And welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Domingo. And today we're on part two of our mead making video. Uh, we are going to rack our mead. It's been fermenting a little longer than... A month. Yeah, about a little longer than a month. Yeah. Uh, we have... Steel Reserve's not here. He's at work. Uh, he's got... We've got his raspberry. We're going to transfer over to a new carboy for him. Um, we've got my blackberry and we got Mingo's... Uh, Luna Azul. Luna Azul, yeah. Okay. So um, we've already got one sterilized jug over here. So the way we're going to do this is um, we have our clear siphoning hose right here. Um, we are going to start with Mingo's here. We've got our new freshly sterilized carboy right here. We're going to sit it down here on the ground. Um, and here's where you have to be careful because you don't want to get any bacteria inside of this. We're going to go and take this cap off the first time it's been off since we started fermentation. Yeah. So, Sanitation. actually, I'm going to wash my hands first. Yep. Sanitation is the key. To make sure. The process. Unless you want some moldy drink, which is not. Yeah, after I wash my hands, really good. And then I'm going to dip them in the sanitation water. That's hot as fuck. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, there, go. goes the there goes the dollars on that video. Yeah. <laughs> Mingo, you can go to wash yours. I'm going to dip this because we touched it. I'm going to put hands. Yeah. All right. I must be pure. So we got our hose. So you do not want to use your mouth on this like you do a lot of siphons. Because that would be unsanitary. Yeah, that would be unsanitary. So what, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get a little water in this hose to start the siphon. Um, another thing that's important is you don't want any of the yeast, the dead yeast at the bottom. You don't, try to, you don't want any of your fruit anymore in here. So you kind of got to hit it from the middle. Yeah, you kind of got to get in the middle and you got to keep an eye on it. So you hold that. Alright, uh, now we're going to go take the top off this, and I'm going to take our plunger here, and our bubbler, dump out the old bubbler water because it's old as gross. It is old and gross. It's been sitting there for over a month, so, there we go. Then I'm going to put that in our sanitation water. Alright, now our meat is open, we're going to start with Mingo's here, so first thing we're going to do, Mingo, you hold that in the hose. Oh yeah. I know it's far away, you guys can't see it very well, but just, just pouring a little us. bit of water in this hose. Purified. Yeah, don't use tap water unless, unless you're super confident on your yeah. tap water. That it doesn't have any impurities or minerals or anything in it. So you want to take that water bottle from me. Alright, so now we have our water in the hose. You're going to want to get the water mostly at the end here. You're going to stick this end in the meat. I'm going to let you control that. Alright. Get it kind of down in the middle there. Oh, oh, oh. And, and now we're uh, and I'm gonna put this in in the bottle and it should start the siphon. And there we go. You gotta keep it low in the middle. Right. I'm trying to. Okay, there it is. I see. Right you there. wanna avoid? Yeah, you wanna avoid. There's a little tiny of bit of pulp going in. You're gonna get a little sediment in there. A little bit's fine. You just wanna try to avoid the fruit. It's going fast, by the way. It is. And what we'll do is we're, we'll take a little, save a little taste from the hose while I bend the hose. We'll Sounds pour the rest good. of it in there. Wow, this is dropping fat. Oh, 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 that was some sediment. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. And sediment, because when it gets ready, I'll kink it and we'll stop it when you get most of it in there. Man, it's going really fast. Yeah. Oh, 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 and that's probably as much as we're going to be able to get without getting sediment. One more, and stop. All right, now we're our cups. Keep it in there, put it back in there. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it smells pretty good. It does smell pretty good. I got a little cool. That's fine, this is just for our taste. Right. Now we're gonna take this hose, put it in our sink for right now. Now that we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and get a lid on this as fast as we can. Uh, uh, we gotta put a Campton uh, tablet in here real quick first. Oh, yeah. Is that too nice? Yeah. Ooh, it smells. We gotta crush them. It smells extremely alcoholic. Really? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun to drink. Uh, it smells extremely alcoholic. My hands are wet. Can you get that? Possibly. My hands are slightly less wet. Okay, this should not be. Oh, it's like there's a seal on it. Oh, yeah, get it. Uh, do you have scissors? Or just man hands? That works too. Alright, so give me another spoon. Yeah. Mine. So this can't be tablets just to make sure there's no bacteria in there. There you go. Got something floating in there. A little bit of stuff, like I said, it's fine. We're just gonna crush this tablet. Like I said, this is the, that worked really well. 
good when stuff happens like it's supposed to. Put that in there. And this, uh, so cl this will clarify it and then kill any bacteria. That but not, not the yeast. No. Now we're going to get our plunger and our bubbler. Try this again, our bubbler's right here. Our new top, that plunger was a little bit smaller too, this is a problem. Put our bubbler in there. And I need some water, some more water right there. Oh yeah, you're supposed to put the water on before you bubble, you bubble it in, I forgot. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Now this one's ready to age for a little bit longer. Anywhere between one and three months, apparently. Yeah, so, we have a little bit in here with lots of sediment, so... Mm, this is going to be like an almond game beer. <laughs> it smells, get coriander in there, it's, it's very alcoholic smelling. Yeah. It doesn't smell bad, though. No. Shall we? Mm-hmm. That's actually really good. It's really good. Mm. It has about the alcoholic um, taste of like wine, I would say, which is what we're going for. It is technically a honey wine. Now you get coriander and orange in there. That's mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. If the other ones turn out like this, I'm going to be happy. Yeah. All right, we'll fast forward to the next two. Wow. All right, so this is exactly the same process as uh, the one that we did with mine. Um, this is Special K's. Um, we're just going to show the top jug this time, so the bottom jug, so you see like both halves of the process. So, uh, first thing we're going to do... Take the bunghole off. Take the bunghole off. With yep. the... Yeah. Uh, Empty uh, that water out, rinse it, and right. yeah, because we're going to need to use it. It has to be sanitary. Yeah. You gotta add an angle, yeah, you gotta angle it like that. Yeah. Uh, flip it around the other way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, like that. Now pour it out. Almost. There we go. Now this is the blackberry one. The all local, locally sourced blackberry. Yeah, it's the Kentucky Proud blackberry yeah. mead. Take um, the bunghole off. The bunghole. This would be stubborn. We should have lubed that bunghole. Anyways. Alright, so that's good. Um, here's the... Again, same process. This one's a little bit, looks like the yeast is a little bit better really settled on this one. And here's we got our cups water. there. We're going to rinse our cups too, real quick too. Uh, I, I rinsed them in the sanitary water. Our drinking cups? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be sanitary. Yeah. Oh, you need me to help you on this one? Uh, maybe. This you want to have this end of the hose up? Ah. Uh, yeah, let's get this kink out of here. There we go. And remember, uh, you're going to want to kink it when it gets right. close. Try not to get it all over the mouth. So we're doing over the sink. Yeah. We need more than that. Okay. We might need another bottle for the third one. Awesome. We got a gallon in it there. Yeah. That's good. All right. So I'll uh, here. I got you. You put that in there. I'll work it with the last one. All right. All right. And get it in the middle. There we go. Get it against the edge there, so you can see. Yeah. It. Okay. That's like right in the middle. Do you see it on the edge? Yeah. It's like yeah. right there. There you take one. All right. Ooh. That color. So vibrant. <laughs> It's like going off the... Uh, it's going so fast? It is. I'm just afraid I'm going to get some seed polyps up in here. Oh, oh, oh! I just saw a seed polyp go down. Up in there. Yeah. No, it like got sucked from the bottom. Like, it was just kind of free-floating, I think. He's talking about blackberry. Yeah, there's a word for whatever those are. Aren't they called polyps? I don't know. They're not polyps. Polyps is something <laughs> like it's a seed thing and also like something grows on your butt or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not about this. All right, we should probably kink it here. And just now we get getting close. We're gonna get a little dead yeast in there, but it's okay. All right, uh, and uh, kink. Yeah, I got it. All right, pour a little bit in our cups. Release. Release the. Oh uh, my gosh. No. Uh, uh, we got more with this. Oh, you get. There we go. Oh yes. All right. That's good. So and that's leaving all our uh, bad that's stuff the in nasty, there. The nastiness. So let's get this capped real quick. There you go. I'll let you finish up. We're going to pour a little water in there. Grab a... You don't have to add any water. We're just adding a little bit. All right. That's too much water, isn't it? You want it to be, yeah, on the, on the minimum block. Go ahead and put the uh, bone hole in there. Oh, oh, is that too much? I might need a little bit more water up in there. I'll put sanitized water in there. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Here, use a... Where'd that bottle of water go? I used it. 
Well, I can go ahead and throw this bunk hole in here, though. Yeah. Word of the day. What's the, uh, the letter of the day? That's the Sesame Street, right? Alright. And... Let's bring it around. Get rid of it a little bit. There we go. That's in between the min and the max. Alright. Can I always add more letter? Shove it Shove on in there and put the cap on it. That's probably good enough. Yeah, throw the cap on there. Uh, where is... Here, nope. We have... Oh, it's right in my hand. Because we have water caps, or water bottle caps that look exactly the same. Alright, now let's go ahead and try this. Let's get up here. Yeah. I'll let you do it first because, you know, it's yours. That, obviously this has got to be aged a little longer. There's lots of little floaties Floaties, in there. particulates. All it right. smells a little bit like yours. Mm -hmm. It smells good. Uh, a little bit. Extremely less, uh, alcoholic. Yeah. You get more of a honey presence in there. Yeah, I do smell like a clover type deal going on. Almost like a, a little bit like baby wipes. <laughs> yeah, I get that. It's the I think it's the mix of the alcohol and the honey. Yeah. Stay safe. Oh, that's sour. But good. Oh, that is very. We made our first sour mead. Haha. <laughs> it's very. It's a little bitter, probably from the tannin, mm -hmm. but that's fine. It's good though. Not as sweet as I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little sour. A little. It's a hint of baby wipey. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um. The non-scented baby wipes, to be specific. But it doesn't taste bad. It's a little bitter, like I said, from the tannin and things. But yeah. Alrighty. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. That turned out really well. It's kind of dry too. Okay. All right. Now time for steals. All right. Now it's time to go ahead and transfer some steels, uh, raspberry mead. Now we experimented with his and used a plastic jug on his, but we have a nice glass one to finish aging. And nice and sanitized. It previously held blackberry mead. As you can uh, see by yeah. Yeah, a little tiny bit of seeds, but that has seeds too, so we're fine. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Same process before, you wanna hold yep. that in for me. I'll let you put it in the jug down there. Let me get mine in here first. Alright, go ahead. Oh, yep, get it in there. Alright. In there like swimming. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, that was a big chunk that just got sucked up. I feel like I'm doing a blood transfusion. It looks like it. <laughs> His is very dark. It's sucking up some chunks. And I go, oh, there's, he has so much sediment in his. Yeah. That's fine, though. We're going to have to kill his pretty... Fast. Kick it. Oh. 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 Yeah, there. Oh. Cup it. Cup it up. We're okay with drinking a little bit of sediment. Yeah. It's not like we have them before on the show. Oh. Let me see if I can get a little more out of there. I don't know. That's pretty good. Yeah. He doesn't have as much. He's got a lot of floaties in this now. He barely has any in there. That's the problem. Oh. Yeah. But his is a smaller jug. So, yeah. he's got an exceptional amount of sediment in his, and that's going to have to be mostly, Maybe it's mostly bad. Strain it? Nah. Yeah. We'll just toss it. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, uh, uh, let's go ahead and finish this up. Camden, we'll add a little bit of water to his too. Yeah, uh, Camden tablet. Doing it as crackhead style. Mm. He's got a lot of floaties, so we're going to have to be careful next time. Alright, pour that in there. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And then, uh, bung hole, and let's need some water out of it. Right there. done. Now we're going to taste this. Seals. Hopefully it'll uh, end up pretty good. This is uh, the best looking color. Yeah. We've got a lot of sediment in our glasses here. Yeah. So it's fine. Scoot, yeah. Alright, scooch in a little bit. Smell. It has the same similar smell as mine. Maybe a little more sour notes. Maybe more baby and white bee, get a little lemon in there. Mm-hmm. Shall we? 
Ooh, his is very sour. He's gonna love his. Right, um, I feel like it's not quite as alcoholic as mine mm -hmm. is. Well, I think his had the, less, the least amount of honey, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Sour, yeah. raspberry, a little bit of lemon in there. It's a little, tiny bit bitter, but it's actually surprisingly decent. Mm -hmm. I think after it ages and mellows out, it'll be pretty good. Yeah. All right. That, and that's uh, pretty much it. We'll wrap it up in the garage. All right. So we uh, we had some technical difficulties with our meat making, but uh, we yeah. got it taken care of. We went ahead and uh, wrapped our meat. So it's going to age for another uh, month. And we may or may not tra we may transfer it to one more jug uh, just to make sure it doesn't explode when, before we bottle it. Um, but our next video will be our third and final installment after this one. And it should be... Uh, probably around a month, a month and a half uh, from the date of this video is being released. Right. Um, and then when it comes out, we'll do a con. Like I said, we mentioned a contest about giving away right. so, a bottle, and we'll talk more about that when we get to that process. Um, but yeah, so far they turned out really good. Like flavor-wise, they uh, scent is a little odd. And yeah, especially odd. on the berry ones. It but it's honey. But you figure honey does it already kind of has that weird smell to yeah, it anyway. That's true. And uh, I think it's, I think they're, they all, flavor wise, they all turn out good because they can. Turn out really well. it, they're all extremely alcoholic so mm -hmm. far, so. I'm um, wondering uh, if there's going to be a change in the flavor with the aging process. Uh, it should mellow out yeah. a lot. Um, we added some cabinet tablets in there, it should clarify it, mellow it out. Um, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.